go to the Garen Gorp kit up. And before downloading the latest release, we're going to scroll down to the PCSX2 compatibility list. And here you can see which games are compatible, the serial of the game, if the mouse support is good or bad, some other issues some, give, some games have, in-game options that you have to change, and some games require a cheat file, others have optional cheat files, and if you scroll down you can see which BIOS are compatible, and some other issues with the emulator now scroll back to the top and download the latest release before using the mouse injector we're going to change some settings in PCSX2 per game settings and then configure the controllers. In this tutorial I'm going to play Cold Winter. Go to the PCSX2 and in the game list press the right mouse button over your game. Then go to properties. Go to the interface tab and disable double click toggles full screen and enable height cursor in full screen. Now we're going to configure the controllers, but before configuring the controllers, I recommend going to the in-game controllers and then translating the PS2 game controller, in this case the game controllers for Cold Winter, to your keyboard buttons. You can do this as you like. Now that we have our PS2 controller translated to the keyboard buttons, we're going to configure it in PCSX2. Go to Settings, Controllers. I always recommend creating a new profile. We're going to call it Cold Winter Mousing Chapter. Do you want to copy all bindings? No, we don't need the all bindings. Now go to the controller port 1. Go to automatic mapping and assign it to the keyboard so it's less buttons that we have to configure. Now we're going to configure as we translated it. In this case it's for cold winter. Jump is the L1, it's the uh, space key, crouch is control, L2, R2 is G for grenade, R1 is fire, left mouse button, the select and start, we're going to leave it in the default, it's back backspace and return. L3 is going to be shift, R3 is going to be right mouse, the left d-pad key is going to be E, the right is going to be Q, the square button is going to be the R, Cross is going to be the F key. Triangle is the middle mouse key. And the circle is the X button. You don't have to configure anything in your movement, in your right analog, because mouse injector takes care of that. Now we're going back to the global settings and we're going to turn on use per profile hotkeys this is just that the uh, that the default hotkeys do not mess with our game keys like in the default hotkey space is to pause the emulator and we want to press space to jump in game now we have to 
choose some hotkeys to go full screen we're going to do control enter save state f1 load state 2 or fg i'm sorry and i don't think we need any other you can configure this as you want i'm not going to configure anymore just for this tutorial then close go back to your game properties right mouse button over the game properties then in the input profile choose cold winter mouse injector this is the profile we just created and close everything should be set cor correctly extract the mouse injector to a folder then open up mouse injector when you open up for the first time it will show some kind of warning attempting to create mouse injector any file this will create the any file in the folder or inside the folder Th there is a message from the uh, developer that this is an unfinished offer expect issues and crashes all subsystems are unsupported Use arrow keys for sentries, cameras, not play, unsupported, blah blah. Press control 1 to skip this message or to confirm that you've, uh, you have read the message. Now open up your game or load your game however you want. As you can see, the mouse injector has detected PCSX2, but it isn't detecting the game. If we press the or in your keyboard it should detect the game as you can see now I'm going to load the state so that we are already in game and here you can see that everything is working correctly loading shooting some Putting a mouse. Oh wow. Hurry up. Closing the cell. Now you press the uh, 4 on your keyboard, the number 4, to activate and to deactivate. When you activate, the mouse gets locked. You can also change other settings like the mouse sensitivity by pressing the plus and the minus key you also have cross air sway which is not available for this game and you can invert the pitch if that's something that you like now if you go to full screen the mouse cursor will disappear or will hide In some cases, some games require cheats. When you download the mouse Dolphin Duck, the mouse injector, it comes with a folder cheats. In this case, it's the PS2. Here you have your cheats for uh, the games that require or other games they are not required. They are, they are optional. Copy the cheats and go to your PCSX2 folder and place them inside the cheats folder and go to the emulator settings emulation and enable cheats that's it for this video thank you for watching and happy gaming
Kim. Andrew, where are you? On the first floor. Get okay, uh, close. Uh, Look for a uh, cell block leading to the security uh, wing. Understood. I'll call you when I'm there. Out. Thank you. 